Hi friends, welcome to Distinct Tutor Respond. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discuss in about how to record login test in a chain meter. Uh, see my previous video, I explained like how to install Blaze Meter and third party tools and bad boys like that, and how to record a US screen. Also, I explained that. Please go to that video also one more time and come to this video like here also same like blaze meter plugin we need to add it for ui login purpose okay i'm using for third party tool and i'm explaining that blaze meter you can able to search for google and you can able to add into the chrome block plugin like this okay and this is a blaze meter and i already logged in that's why it is showing my name and once you logged in and just go to your blaze meter and start for plugin for login for blaze meter and okay and third part is recording your scenario to stop the record for exporting okay in case your export is not working you have to convert blaze meter.com you have to go and you have to convert that file format okay and just i am going to do for some orange hrm application for login purpose I'm just I'm clicking here blaze meter I'm providing for orange hrm login okay just I'm starting for my blaze meter once I start then you can able to see the step by step here why I choose this application is basically it will provide a username and password here and you can able to see admin and admin one two three and we can able to one step it is logged in and it will load for one step here okay once the waiting for the content is loading once it is done then you have it will just you can able to click anything and it will uh, record the steps and leave balance i just i clicked my balance and it is coming here okay once it is all the things happen just stop that blaze meter okay once it is stopped it will stop and you can able to export saving jmeter only and just you have to save it once you save then it will download that appropriate file into your local you can able to see now orange hrm dot jmx file it is download in case if you are not able to see just there is a blaze meter converter and you can able to go ahead for google and you can able to search for blaze meter convert converter you can able to see the top position and you can able to navigate that location and there you can able to uh, bring it uh, that file and convert that file into a jmeter format okay once you download it and once it is done just come to here and open file and you can able to see rnge hrm jmx file you can just click that one and open it open into your file then you can able to see thread and thread group one one it is showing and just you can able to see what all the operations are done everything it will show and cookies it will store some cookies and you can able to every time because the bra uh, catches also it need to store and cookie manager need to store because uh, application it will store the cookies and right authorization it will store and catches and request defaults which request default it is happen and you can able to see that which uh, base url we hit it the default variable and header management you can able to come here then you can able to see what all things we are used like this we can able to see in a thread group and we can able to use one aggregation report 
for listener i am going to use for table format and also i'm going to use for listener view tree okay these two i'm using i'm just i'm running for that now and you can able to see that hitting that application now these are like seven steps it is done correct and first time it is failed some bad and bad request like 400 and remaining all are pass and you can able to see that what are the things it is done in that pro proper way of things okay this is a way we can able to record into our uh, ui test into our gmeter and we can able to hit it here and we can able to rotate one by one and all we can able to see the steps what are the steps it is done in all the steps we can able to bring it here and also we can able to rename this one into a, a normal format like uh, uh, we can able to uh, proper naming convention we can able to provide and it will the request we can able to change here login request page or something whatever it may be you can able to save it into a different format you can able to o r t login this page if you are saving then it will it will save into that location okay you can able to provide all based upon uh, the page what exactly it is showing that based upon that you can able to provide that naming conventions okay this is a way we can able to record into a ui login page that's all about this video if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel thank you